Hey everybody, it's the Phantom321 here bringing you some more 5th gen Wi-Fi battles. In this episode, I am going to be battling someone by the name of the Fallen Guy. The story behind this video, or this match, is that I was in the smoke in Wi-Fi Battle Finder and I was searching for a match, an Uber's match, just to be exact, and I had a set that I was using legal hacks, and then the Fallen Guy challenged me, and as you're gonna see in this match, his Pokemon weren't doing a lot of damage to mine, and in the middle of the match, he pointed out that all his Pokemons are from Nintendo events, and that's actually pretty cool, but... Uh, the downside to him is that if you're battling someone who has Pokestaff Pokemon, you're at a huge disadvantage because the other person has perfect IVs, perfect EVs, and the correct nature. Whereas you might not have the right nature and you don't have perfect IVs for the most part. The only thing that you could have the same are the EVs are perfect. So yeah, that's the only downside. I'm sure that if he was using uh, Pokestaff Pokemon, the match could have ended way differently. Some parts in this match are quite shocking. For example, he's gonna send out his Darkrai, and I'm gonna send out my Regiram, and I managed to outspeed Darkrai, and I was kind of shocked because Darkrai is amazing, or it has super high speed, and I don't know how I managed to do it, but hey, I got lucky. I guess that's what happens when you challenge someone who's using Pokesav Pokemon. I bet you if he was using computer generated Pokemon, then it could have been a closer match than it is. So he's gonna send out his Regiram of his own. And I'm going to switch out and go to my Lugia, who can easily take any move from this. Um, so yeah, he's going to go for Draco Meteor, and Lugia is going to take it quite well. And now I know he's going to end up switching out, so I'm going to easily be able to set up a Reflect on his team, or just to hold out my team. And that's what I'm going to do. So he's going to switch out to Deoxys, and I'm going to set up the Reflect. And I was kind of hoping my Lugia could take one hit from this Deoxys, so I can keep setting up on him. But as you're about to see here, he gets a lucky crit with Zap Cannon, and that's going to finish off my Lugia, which kind of sucks for me, but whatever. Next, I'm going to switch out into my next Pokemon, which is going to be Kyogre. And this Kyogre is Choice Scarf with Water Spout, so it's going to do a lot of damage to his Deoxys. So I'm going to go first, thanks to the Choice Scarf, and I'm going to take out his Deoxys with one Water Spout. And next, he's going to switch out to his next Pokemon, which is Latias. And I know Water Spout can do some damage to Latias, even though... Um, it resists it, but as you can see, it's a two-hit KO. He's going to go for a, a Luster Purge, and as you're going to see here, his Latias does absolutely nothing for a critical hit. I mean, that was a critical hit, and that's how much it did to my Kyogre. Um, I guess his Latias, I don't know what to say, but whatever. Next, he's going to switch out into his Latios, and I'm going to switch out into my Regiram. And I was kind of hoping, or I was kind of sacrificing my Regiram at this point. He's going to go for a Luster's Purge, and as you're about to see here, it, it does absolutely nothing like Latios, his move. Now I'm going to go for a Draco Meteor, and I'm going to end up taking out his Latios. And now he's going to switch out into his next Pokemon, which is going to be his, I believe it's Arceus. Yes, it is. And I'm going to end up switching out into my next Pokemon, which is going to be Zekrom. And, or Zekrom, I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Now he's going to go for a Parish Song, so I know both of us are eventually going to have to switch or else our Pokemon are going to die in a couple of turns. So he's going to go for a Hyper Beam, and I take it quite nicely, so I'm going to go for a Bolt Strike, knowing that he's going to have to recharge. And I miss again, which kind of sucks. And now I'm going to eventually have to switch out, and he's going to go to his Regiram, and I'm going to end up switching to my next Pokemon, which is going to be Groudon. And that was a pretty good prediction on my part. So now I know I could be able to take out this Regiram just by hitting it with an Earthquake. And that's going to finish off the Regiram. I was kind of shocked because this Groudon's more bulky than... Um, it's not really good at attack since it's bulky, but whatever. He's going to go to Arceus, and I'm going to end up switching out next turn, I believe. He's going to go for a Parish Song. I'm going to go for an Earthquake. I was just seeing how much it would do to Arceus. And it didn't do that much, so I'm going to switch out into my final Pokemon, which is going to be Rayquaza. And he's going to go for a Hyper Beam, I believe. And um, I survive it, so when he's going to recharge, I'm going to go for a Dragon Stance. It probably wasn't necessary, but hey, whatever. Better to be safe than sorry. So now I'm going to end up finishing off his Pokemon with an Outrage, and that's the end of the match. I hope you liked this video. Please rate the video, comment, and subscribe.